Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce and Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install JetSmart Filters plugin to create a WooCommerce product filter. Let me show you an example of the product filter that I have created using this plugin. In the right hand sidebar, you will see three different types of filters, the price range, the color and the product category filter. Using JetSmart Filters plugin, you can create 11 different types of filters and it is compatible with Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks Page Builder. So if you have designed your WooCommerce website using Elementor, then you can use this filters plugin. If you have designed your website using Gutenberg or Bricks Page Builder, you can use this JetSmart Filters plugin to create the WooCommerce product filter. Here, if I select the price range, it will show all the products which are available under this price range. You will also get a remove filters option. You can select the color and it will filter the product according to the color. You can again remove the filter. You can select the product category and it will show the products from that particular category. Just like this, it is very easy to create filters using this plugin. I have already published videos on free as well as paid WooCommerce product filters using different plugins. This is one of the videos for WooCommerce product filter. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. This is another video WooCommerce product filter using filter everything plugin. This plugin also has free as well as premium version and this is the product filter using Elementor taxonomy filter. If you are using Elementor Pro, then you will get Elementor taxonomy filter option, which you can use to create the WooCommerce product filter. I have designed this e-commerce website using Elementor and WooCommerce. If you want to know how to create e-commerce website, I have a complete video tutorial, which is more than eight hours long. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. So you can compare all these free as well as paid plugin, and you can compare the pricing of the premium plugin. And after that, you can decide which plugin will be better option for your WooCommerce website. So in this video, we are going to work on Jet Smart Filters plugin, which is a part of CrocoBlock. And here you will see 20 different plugins under CrocoBlock. The pricing of this single plugin is only $43 per year. If you go for CrocoBlock plugin bundles, it will cost you $199 per year. And in that you will get 20 jet plugins. All these plugins are included in this bundle. If you want to buy a single jet smart filters plugin, then it will cost you $43 per year. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to buy this plugin. Let me show you the features of this plugin. Easy to use, customizable, layerable, match all, editor friendly. And there are 11 different types of filters that you can create using this plugin. Here you will see the list of widgets or blocks that you can create A to Z, data period filter, active tags, sorting filter, radio filter, select filters, range filters. So we will work on three different filters. And once you understand how to use it, you can create different types of filter on your own. So let's see how we can create WooCommerce product filter using the Jet Smart Filters plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce and Elementor plugin on this website. I have already installed the Jet Smart Filters plugin. So let's go to the dashboard and here you will see Croco Block. You will see the Croco Block option because I have already installed the Jet Smart Filters plugin on this website. Let's go to Jet plugin settings. And this is for the Jet Smart Filters. You will see that all the options are enabled. So whenever you install this plugin, make sure that all these options are enabled. Next is indexer settings. If you want to enable it, you can enable it. In this example, I have enabled the indexed filters. So I have just enabled all these options. URL structure, I don't think you need to make any changes here. So I have it as it is. You will also see the options for Ajax request type and accessibility settings and provider preloader. So I'm not going to make any changes. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, first we are going to create filters. So here you will see the option smart filters, click on it. 
right now we do not have any filter created click on add new and let's start with the product category filter so you will see 11 different types of filter that you can use the first option is check boxes select range check a range filter date range date period radio reading alphabet search and visual so we will start with the check boxes list this will be used to show the product category so i'm going to name it as product category so let me show you the shop page this is the shop page and in the right hand side we have a sidebar and here we are going to add the product filter option so we have selected check boxes list from the data source let's select taxonomies and from the taxonomy you can select product category so we are going to select product category if you want to use this plugin for post filter you can use that also you can select categories for the post so I have selected product categories and a relational operator leave it as it is if you want to show empty terms enable these options otherwise you can disable it group terms by parents so I'm going to group them by parents exclude none and let's filter the name as select product type so this is the first product filter that we have created let's click on update and go to back to listing you will see the first filter here let's create another one create a price range we are going to create a price range and from here select range so this will be used for the price range here you can select woocommerce minimum maximum prices step will be let's say 10 it will increase or decrease by 10 numbers values prefix i'm not going to make it any changes here query variable you can click on here and select the WooCommerce price filter, the first option. And let's name it as price range. So this will be the title. Click on update. Now here, if I go to products, I have created some product attributes. Let's go to attributes and we will select one of these attributes. So we have color attribute and under color we have different terms black blue green red white and yellow so we are going to create this one and we are going to create a visual color selection so let's go back to smart filter and go to listing again click on add new and create a new one product color and from here i'm going to select a visual again taxonomies and from the drop down i'm going to select product color type will be color you will see the attributes are already added there product color shoe size product size you will see these attributes are added here are added here so i'm going to select this one color and behavior will be checkbox now we are going to add the list here you will see the attribute black blue green if i select if i go to value you will see those options again just name it as black this is the color the second color is red you can select the color from here then the third color will be green All right, so we have got all the color attributes here i'm going to select show empty terms so even though there is no any product in that category it will show that and just name it as select color update it let's go to listing again so we have got three different filters here and now we are going to add those filters on the shop page so let's go to theme builder i have created this website using the elementor pro plugin and i have created the shop page using the theme builder feature so if you want to know how to create shop page using theme builder in elementor i'll give you the link in the description box you can watch that video so here i'm going to click on product archive this is the template used for this shop page so i need to add the filters in this template so that it will be applied on this page if you have a separate page you can go directly to the page and you can add that filter anywhere on the page so you are going to add the elements on the layout or on the page 
All right, so this is the layout for the shop page. So I'm going to remove this search box. Let's add the first filter that will be price range. So here, search for filter and you will see all the filters are listed here. So from that, you need to select a range filter that we have created, drag it and drop it here and search for the name of the filter that we created. So that was price range. Let me show you. We have got three filters here. The range is the price range. This is the name that you need to search. So I have selected this one. And from here, I'm going to select Elementor Pro Archive Products. If you're using WooBuilder, the Jet WooBuilder plugin, then you can select this option, WooCommerce Archive by Jet WooBuilder. So I'm going to select this one and apply on value change so if you select any value change it will automatically apply the filter if you want to show apply button you can use that one show filter label enable that it will show the label for this particular filter you can go to style and from here you can change the style settings of this filter all right so this one looks good to me let's add the second filter Click here and search for the second filter. That will be the product color. So we are going to add the product colors here. The product color is a visual type. So select visual filter. Here you will see this one. Let's drag it and drop it. And here search for the name that we have assigned to this filter. That will be color, product color. Select it and it will show all the colors that we have. And this filter is again for Elementor Pro Archive. Show filter label. All right, so select color is there. Now let's go to style and let's make it in line. I do not want the label for this. So I'm going to show label, just disable that option. So it will not show black, red, yellow. Let's go to style and for the item, I'm going to add some border all right so this one looks good to me so we have got the colors filter here now let's add the third filter here search for the filter and that will be the product category filter that we have created using checkbox so select the checkbox filter and drag it drop it here search for category the name of this filter was category product category you will see it here this is the name and element of pro archive you will see all the categories here so under brands category we have some different brands then under menswear we have different subcategories you want to show the filter label let's use the filter label here now you can customize these options you can change the color settings you can change the size of the font here all right so i'm not going to make any other changes let's click on update and let's see how does this work Let's go to shop page and refresh it. And now you will see the price range here. Currently it is starting from 300 to 1400. It has taken the minimum price of the product on this dummy shop. Here we have a product which is around 1000 rupees. Let me reduce below 1000. So it has started from 800. Let's reduce it to 790 and you will see that product is gone. So it will show the product only within this price range. So this filter is working. Let's change the price range and let's see. We will go to this one green. All right. So some of these products may have different. Let me go back to this filter color. So it is not showing the black color here. refresh it all right so we have got the black color also so it will show the black products here see this is a dummy website and i might have selected that color option for this product so that's why it shows here so it is a checkbox you can select other color and it will show the products from both the colors not the single color because it is a checkbox not a radio box so let me uncheck it now if here here you will see another option which will remove the filter 
here you will see the filter remove let's drag and drop it here and let's change the color all right so this will i guess remove all the filters refresh it now i have applied this filter these two filters are applied now if i want to remove i can simply click on remove filter and it will remove all the filters right now let's try this check boxes if i click on accessories it will show all the products from the accessories if i select women's wear it will show all the products which, which are listed under women's wear category i can remove this filter and it will only show the products which are listed under women's wear let's uncheck this one also and let's go for footwear and it will show products from footwear so menswear these are the products under menswear If I go to sunglasses, it will show the products from this particular category. So these product filters are working properly. And as I said earlier, you can create 11 different types of product filters. These are the filter options and it works with Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch the other videos that I have created for different WooCommerce filter plugins. You can compare all these plugins and then decide which plugin will be better option for your website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.